about to see an unchanged team as a positive and hope you get a bit of health in the squad and keep going as referee Kevin O'Sullivan gets it underway. That's and it exactly. Athlone go long but puts in there to clear and probably is going to be a, a, a long ball game <laughs> from, from both teams. <laughs> it seems like Derry leaves off himself short for this corner quickly, takes it, gets the ball into the box, met by the head, but over the bar and a harmless effort in the end but again Athlone certainly not shy of taking on the flick onto McDonald's and as he heads forward again there's again not nobody up there for support for Cam Teeley and but scrappy play here McPhil McDonald back to McPhillips his face to run into here Zach O'Neill outside him but he won't use him no he will now use him Zach O'Neill tries to clip it back in finds McVillius Villius with the shot takes the deflection well blocked by Gary Comfort there back and into the hands of Schlingerman who look long to, to create these opportunities he needs to have someone to be able to execute these passes too so um, yeah we'll Kev, see Kev Knight will take this long with her flick on front post Massey with the shot and a save from Schlingerman oh and Massey doing very well there again Cam T just looking threatening from a long Jeffrey doesn't have fond memories for Cam T fans last time he was with them was it in Bray where Bray won 3-0 so it's not it <laughs> but then he was also in charge when in a bad run of form last year Marty Worth got a winner in the 94th minute Cove so up and down history refereeing Cabin TV does Kevin O'Sullivan never a dull day refereeing Cabin TV that's for sure no it certainly is not neither as a fan commentator spectator <laughs> whatever you may be watching Cabin TV you there's always a yellow card a red card goals something happens in never the quite, never quite know what you're going to get never once again it's Athlone giving the space to play amongst their back four and build their attack through Woodstead on the far side and this Cam Tealy giving them the time to do what they want here really as Comfort comes down in front of us but back to centre back he'll clip it long Good ball. doesn't try to find Kurtz burning behind his touch just can't quite bring it in comfortably but he does and he finds finds the left winger Derek Daly now on the ball O'Neill under pressure but he doesn't mean he flicks it back to Derek Daly Derek Daly with a shot and that's a great goal great from finish. that loan really was good play there between Steve Meany and Derek Daly ball in from the left hand side cut in off this left wing Meany flicked it back to him and he rifled it into the top of the net far too easy for Athlone to get to get through though so many passes they were able to execute there where Cavantini could have and should have uh, put a bit of pressure on and applied a bit of pressure um, so great goal fantastic finish and well deserved I think from Athlone so far in this half yes ultimately unfortunately they have been the better team and our full credit and that just shows when you give the when you give a team time to pick yep. their pass around the back four they will wait they will be patient and Derek Daly really just not many showing for him here he's looking to try to pick one Villiers makes a run but he doesn't want to pick that Massey back to the throw and taker and Captain Blackburn into McDonald's feet tries to clip it over around for Zach O'Neill Zach will fire this one across the goal McWilliams at the back post with the header but he just can't get that one down rifle across that and very hard one control for Luke McWilliams coming in from left back but now to find Daly then side but he's overcooked that one and it will go wide out and Dan Blackburn will try launch again up to Marty who's moved out to this side of the pitch trying to maybe create a bit more something but Lucas can't get it down he can now under control from pressure from Daly Buddha finds Massey in centre field back to Kevin Knight Knight out to his left back McWilliams stood up by Wickstead and again it's more like he's keeping ball but it looks like Knight is now going to take his long option even with commenting on the rarity of Cam T string together a few passes which is yeah. nice to see and Knight back again will find Laboot and then see creating space with Williams here and Marty out to Omar Phillips he'll get a cross in can Laboot get his head and he does oh and it's off the bar oh brilliant brilliant opportunity there again as we said just the ability to just string offside so he won't be able to contest for it and then back along again same channel Knight dealing with Stephen Meany puts him clearing up Wick said trying to get it under control he can do the little dink ball here to Adrian Campbell. Friel Friel swings full at that try Curtis Byrne in the box he gets his head to it but that does go over the bar yeah clever work there uh, Stephen Meany dropping a bit more inside now and letting Byrne that's something that the referee did not take kindly to and he is in the book now for as the first booking of the night they are definitely listening 
Atlanta will now try to launch something from this. Shot comes in. Halifax fumbles, but thankfully there was no Athlone player in the vicinity. Something for Cam Tealy. Set pieces are a big part of this division's <laughs> goal scoring structure. And the quilt with a chance whips it in. Good ball. He gave it ahead. Knight tries to get his head on it, but can't. Back to Massey with another shot and goal. Knight will swing his foot at it, but again blocked. Still. Scrappy, scrappy, scrappy. scrappy. Massey comes back to him. He's looking to try to have a shot, just can't get away. McPhillips. This is where Cabinet, you need to relax. This is Take the ball down and get it up the pitch. There you go. Jack O'Neill tries to find into the box, but that will go out for a corner. That was a hard moment to commentate on. Has the goalkeeper under pressure. Lead, but we'll see if that loan through a throw in here will look to build something. Lovely, quick. There. It's back to Curtis Burns. He'll take a shot. But lovely, lovely, qu quick, fast play from from Athlone there. The Cavity are unable to to cope with. Impact. Yep, absolutely. I'd imagine uh, Luke Lucas is going to stay a lot more central and let Jen pick up a lot of the the, the slack of the running and things, which is absolutely fine. But yeah, as you said, um, fresh legs. You know, it just gives something different. Good to see Luke was getting a run out here. He said, Oh, that long in attack, but no, that clear. But Luke has a good hit for Cam T. He scored many goals in seasons past and hasn't really got a run of game to get up with Wickstead. Looks to create a chance here, driving the box, puts inside. Massey takes a shot and rising and just over the bar. That was coming back down, and Halbox put up his hand and there in the Cam Healy jersey. Yeah, I don't think they ever played under 17s for us together. Uh, Ben's a bit, a bit, no, bit younger, I, but I forget, I forget how much younger Ben is. Yeah, <laughs> you, I mean, not you. You look at him and he he's so you know he he's so athletic and, and he's so tall. Here. Curtis Byrne with a chance cuts inside. McQueen gets a shot away. Great save. Oh, gets down well to save that. Ben from having. Yeah, deceivingly big Ben Feeney, but for for Luke's situation. You know, he hasn't got the game time that he's he's needed or wanted, I suppose. And, you know, with what he's done, with what he's had, he hasn't the confidence, really, you know. And I hope to see him because get a bit more confidence because he is well able to to play. It's a classic chicken and egg argument for a manager of yeah. letting up. And unfortunately, Cam Teeley, in their recent run of form, don't have the luxurious position of being a goal-scoring team who can let no. a man come on and get a few easier finishes they've had to work very hard for every goal yeah. they've and got it, this far so and I think unfortunately it's, it's a position where you're judged basically on if you're scoring or not <laughs> you know unfortunately that, that that's a position where you know it's, it's clear as day you're, you either get it or you don't so you know um, with Cam Tilly having so many options and so many young options coming up too it's really hard and I, I don't envy Pat Devlin's uh, choices <laughs> Brandon McCann had left something on Kevin Knight there a late challenge and he tried finding the box but still battling Dalton plays back to Knight who now finds Hudson he's taking more time here more composure driving through takes a shot on and it's still harmlessly into the hands of Schingerman I think when your centre half is taking shots <laughs> in the last minute of a match